I'm writing to offer you a mantra to chant to yourself silently when confusion descends about what to do about the college decision. I'm tempted to say, please don't waste your time and money by going at all, but instead I'll only say this, college isn't very important unless you convince yourself that it is. But whether you take a degree or not is really only important to those folks who've been psychologically conditioned not to see the truth of things, to lack imagination and initiative, which means most of us, most of us. Let me do the job your school should have done in what I'll say next. In the past 50 years, ever since a phony crisis we call Sputnik was visited upon us, college has been transformed into a genteel racket, an enormous jobs project illegitimately linked to work for which it has no inevitable connection. Never mind if you weren't taught about Sputnik, suffice it to say it was exactly the same phenomenon your generation has witnessed in the phony crisis of Iraq. If you had been educated instead of schooled, you might have realized that almost two centuries ago at the University of Berlin, a legendary philosopher named George Hegel taught the sons of the leading management families of Europe and America that history itself could be precisely controlled by arranging phony crises. Through the vehicle of these imaginary crises, all dissent could be declared illegitimate and the course of history changed radically under the guise that national emergency dictated it. One system schooling has had a century and a half to prove itself. It is a ghastly failure. Children need the widest possible range of roads in order to find the right one to accommodate themselves. John Taylor Gatto. Captain, my captain. Sit down, Mr. Anderson. Get back to class right now. Sit no. down. Sit down. This is your final warning, Anderson. Yeah. I'll get up. How dare you? Do you hear me? Go oh, catch my cat. Mr. Overstreet, I warn you. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. All of you. I want you seated.